Hi, I'm Professor Stephanie. In this video, I'm going to show you some techniques for drawing in proportion, in actual proportion, and drawing objects realistically. And um, I've got some tips for you on this. So let's get started with this, the supplies I use. Um, I actually like to have a base of cardboard. This is the back of um, pads that I use that I save. Uh, this is the drawing paper I like to use. So I've actually cut it in half. You can see I tape it down with drafting dots. And we're going to use a simple pencil, a white eraser, and a fine line black marker to do our activity here today. Good. Okay. So getting started, I did um, what I want to emphasize is the importance of using and seeing shapes and how they can help us when we're drawing. I'm going to start with a, a one inch by one inch square shape. And yes, I have actually done some pencil guidelines. And I want to remind you that I actually like to work from point to point or dot to dot. When we draw, our eye moves ahead. And so we, if we know where we're going, where we're going to land, it's very helpful. So you can see, I, I just I never, uh, move my pen into a, a blank page. I have some uh, guide points or guidelines that I use that are done in pencil. And then I take a, a fine line ink pen and connect the dots. Okay, so you can see that I have drawn some fairly nice squares, one inch by one inch, and yet I had some guides for that. So that's a very in, uh, an important part. With my pencil, I'm going to show you a uh, a tip on creating proportion. I'm going to put an X from corner to corner. This is the center in proportion to this square. And when we think of proportion, we're going to get some correct relationships of the size between two or more parts of the object. So our goal here is to divide this square in corners. I've got to start with that center, which I got from the X. I'm going to then make a cross through that center, and this is what we're going to have. Now we have a half inch shape right here. So we're looking for a, a half, no, sorry, a quarter, huh? a quarter shape that is, we could make this half. Let's get half in here since that's what I said. Cool. Uh, this is in proportion. We now have a one inch by half inch shape. And we got that from using our dividing with an X and a cross to get uh, to work with proportion in that shape. Now I also use this when I'm creating a circle. Again, there's my, and this is going to give me some guide points so my points are going to be the outside of the square where this touches here. And then I'm going to divide this visually in thirds. The longer lines that come from the cross. And these, I'm going to make a little bit darker on the outside. Do you see that? And this is going to be a guide for me for creating a circle. Here comes the dot to dot story. So now we have a circle. So um, for those of us that circles don't come so easily, this becomes helpful. We will also be able to see that this, there's a, an easy division here. And again, this is with an X within the rectangular shape. And then in this time, we did the X and across and we created a circle. The other, um, shape I want to make is a triangle. Oops, that's, that's a better place right there to get our center. And this will help us with, so we, we need the, the center in between here. And then of course, I'm going to use my dots down here. And I'm going to let my eye move ahead a little bit. I'm going to let my eye move ahead a little bit. And you can see I get this triangle. Now this may seem pretty simplistic, and yet when we look at more complicated objects, we're able to identify the shapes that will help us in the drawing. 
Let's do the same thing with an oval. So this time, these are the rectangular shapes are one inch by a half inch. Again, I'm, I already had my pencil uh, marks there, ready to make that shape. Here comes the X and the cross. This time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freehand that third story. And here we go, getting that oval shape. And again, this is very good practice just to be able to identify shapes. And as I do this activity, I'm also kind of aesthetically helping my hand get used to what I'm trying to do, uh, kind of get it in my body. And then we're connecting our eye, our hand, our brain all together to draw. So here's our triangle. So these are simple activities that you can do and be successful with as you're learning and practicing. All right, let's take this concept of using shapes. And I have a tulip today that I have, I want to show you how I'm going to use these shapes to create a line drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my page. Um, I'm going to create the um, tulip right next to the tulip itself on the right hand side. Uh, oftentimes I get a center line that helps me orient toward what I'm working on. I'm actually going to move that. I've got a little sketch prepped up here for the. So center lines are another guide that help us orient as we're drawing. And that's part of the way I like to draw when I'm working on something very realistic. And I think about that. It's not exactly a center here. But that said, I'm going to use a rectangular shape. Again, you can see I'm working with pencil first. I'm setting up the page. And I actually think this stem comes down this way. Um, we've got some pretty, this has got some, a triangle shape here. I'm going to see if I can get this to start the same place here. Give it a curve. I'm going to have it come down. It doesn't go over that, but we'll see how that works. Matter of fact, and then again, I've got I've got this stem right there. I'm going to leave a little bit of a stem here, and oh, let's see if I'm you're able to see that. You are. Let me let me lower this a little bit now that I can see what's going on myself. Yay! Notice I don't hesitate to use my eraser as I go along. Whoops! Got to get this back into place here. Okay, that's going to be great. All right, here's another, you know, and that's not exactly a triangle, but, but, but that's going to help us when we go ahead and add this shape. Disappears behind there. Got a couple of different lines in here. I erase as I go. Guidelines are there to help as you're going. Oftentimes, they'll need to be erased also. So this is the outside of the leaf, the front leaf. Here's the inside of the front leaf, and this is what's behind it, okay? Now, that gives me a place to land, right? So I'm going to be working with my marker now, but I, I also have some guides to work with. And I'm going to see if I can just straighten this out a little bit. All right, so I'm going to start with this leaf right here. I mean, I'm sorry, this is the petal, and I'm going to use my shape so that I'm getting a shape here. I'm going to leave some space there for the other petal. I'm coming down to this stem, okay? Again, here's my guide points. This here is a little bit lower. I'm starting a little bit lower. It comes in and around like that. And I've got this shape back here. Again, I'm going right onto my pencil lines. The center 
part. I'm going to have come right up here. It's got a little bit of a cha-cha-cha right there. It's called cha-cha-cha. I don't always add a detail like this, but it's going to help me recognize. Also, I don't really see other part, the pine there, but the way I've drawn that, I wanted to show that. Great. Let me get this this leaf in here before I add the other stem. Again, I, I've just added, I'm just going to start here. I'm going to add this up and around. It's got a nice round area there. I'm going to just, I'm looking ahead, looking ahead to land there. That's going to be great. Now I've got this leaf I'm going to bring up. It kind of curves this way. You're going to see I'm changing this shape quite a bit. I'm adjusting it, is, is the way I'd like to say that. The little bit of overlap here that's kind of dramatic, that's something I like to work for, is a little drama. I call that drama in my world. And um, so now, let me get a stem in here. I left this open because I wasn't quite sure how this stem would fit, and I didn't want to have too much overlapping there. So that looks terrific. Now, the next step is to erase, and I'm going to go back in and add a little texture just to make give this a little interest. Uh, other ways I use uh, drawing like this would be to add color. I like to work with design markers that are kind of quick and easy for me. So when I add my texture, uh, I'm going to actually move, this was a medium point, I'm going to pull up a fine point marker. And what I see here, and I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to show you, but there's a center area and then there's some texture, some lines that move out. Okay, so that is part of what I want to try to portray are these lines. Oops, I picked up a marker that isn't very strong, or you know, it's like it's almost empty. But that said, I'm going to keep going because I don't want to get too much texture in here. I just wanted to have a little bit, give it some definition. This is what color would do, and that's um, one of the challenges with. Just having a line drawing is how do you make it interesting and engaging? One of the things I'm going to do here is going to try to have these petal lines not touch the these the left ones not touch the right ones. I don't want to confuse the eye and have them feel connected. So you'll see. So this line comes from here. This one's on either side. And oftentimes I think about how the viewer can see something very easily. Let me just make this vertical. That's kind of fun. Um, I'll get just a little bit of shape in here. Let me get this to connect here so that again here's the eyes going to be able to connect the top that this is the stem. We're helping the eye. I do want to I do feel like this inside could be a darker value. So when we talk about value, we are talking about lights and darks. And especially in a line drawing like this, lights and darks are very important to distinguish one area from another. So I'm going to go ahead, as you can see, I'm still using my fine line marker, but And then I'm going to make a great effort here. Just have a couple of key lines here. Great. I might make, I do find that this the um, is darker. So again, here gives me a chance to, and this is, I'm really lightly touching here. You know, this center one gets to stay just like that, which is uh, giving me an opportunity to have a different value with from one petal to the next. Great. Okay, 
So we used our shapes. We had a rectangular shape here. We thought in terms of a triangle where we were thinking about how this, oops, it, it moved again, um, how this shape uh, was separated here and, and, and how it curved out. I'm thinking of the triangle as a, as a shape, although that may not work for you. We've got an outside leaf here, an inside leaf here, which we added a little extra value. Uh, the stem that comes down, and there's a little bit of fun overlap here. Uh, again, just a, what I call drama. And so using shapes, seeing shapes, really, and using them for your proportion can be very helpful when you're working with line drawing of realistic flowers. Thank you.